Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus one more time. Look, uh, I want to share something with you. My, 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 my. You know, one of the biggest crises that we have in our society is poverty. And it appears as if poverty has always existed. It just really seems that way. And I'm sure many of us ask the question, why? We occasionally come up with different thoughts here and there. And for some strange reason, we have nothing strong enough that moves us to do something about the poverty. And even in the past, if we could refer to the past, if that was ever done, well, we see that it really didn't get us out of it. But the question still remains for those who care. How can you deal with this? And I say to you, ladies and gentlemen, that it really seems to be a complicated matter. If someone knows there seems to be a force that closes and imprisons that which is known. And so we can't even say that someone knows. But I can say this, out of those who have tried, they have tried, but they have failed. And I suggest if we're going to really try to answer that, let us step outside of the box. Let us step outside of me and you and you and you. Because we found that that never gets us anywhere. But that, let us look for something that's bigger than that. Let us look for something that is for you and you and you and you and leave none of us out. And it seems to be something that has got to be spiritual. And so let us look outside of ourselves, look outside of the box and look for the spirit. Somebody say this within. Wherever it is, let us just be sincere. And one of the solutions that we'll come up with is this, is that every man is provided a job, <clears throat> a career of their own choosing. Ladies, do you have a man that doesn't work, have no job? You think he's sitting around lazy, video gaming? People seem to be struggling. Seems as if he cares not. Let me tell you something. That man cares. But human beings were wired up in different ways, depending upon their call and their purposes. You see, some people recognize that they weren't just made to do anything, but something special. All of us were. Some of us know it, and some of us don't. But those who don't know it finds it more simple to conform. You've heard it said, I don't care if you have to dig ditches. If you got to feed the babies, dig the ditches. Make sure the baby get, feed, get fed. Well, that's the process of what we have been indoctrinated to understand as life. But if we were going to answer from the spiritual outside that says put every man to work, we would understand that to bow down to something that low means that you accept that as your authority. And that is being deceived. Because you were not made to live like that and you know it. Because you don't want to do it. You find yourself having to do it. And anything you just got to do, you should question it. That's not from God, yes, in God, everything that you do to maintain heaven, you do have to do. But you know what? There's a little bit difference about that have to do. Because then that have to do, you are glad to do. Because it is you. Creating your own heaven by the power of love. So I say, these men who don't have jobs, who many of them uh, sit around and drink beer, do nothing, lives are wasting away because of the society in which we live. But that spirit says put every man to work in a career of their own choosing. Now you think that's impossible. <laughs>
Not with God. Not with God's plan. See, God's plan knows that when a man is taking care of his business and it's exactly what he wants to do, and he happens to have a lady, he knows that his living good, his home is as he wish, wished it would be, and now he has family. Their means of transportation is ideal. No one is having any education problems because education is there free. And the same for health care from the womb to the tomb, anything. And we as people are put together and designed to only create the best of whatever we do. My, 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 my. Now that's the original plan. That's the plan that I am proposing that the Republicans can consider, the Democrats can consider. You know it doesn't go with the way things are, but you know it's morally righteous. So I'm offering it to anybody who wants to use it to lead and govern our nation to a place where it appears to be heavenly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if no politician finds this anything of interest, then I also offer it to any citizen, any citizen in this country. I'll to give you all I got about it. And it's already posted on YouTube and Facebook. But I'll give you all, and I promise you, it'll do exactly what it set out to do. Now that's open to anybody. Anybody. Now I feel that if no one takes the lead, it wouldn't make any sense for me to do it. Because if you don't care enough about it, to engage yourself. If your politicians care more about what you got than what you sh can have if you demanded it and gave of yourself for it, that means you really not only don't want it, you don't deserve it. So I'm leaving this to you, ladies and gentlemen. Please consider. I have just given you something more precious than any amounts of gold you can ever imagine you could ever have. I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I have just shared something with you that's so beautiful. It's thrilling me pink inside. And I know you know that. So I'm going to leave it with you and let you go out and enjoy yourselves thinking about it, okay? Until next time, this is Eddie Marcus saying bye-bye.